What is up everyone, it's The Munch and welcome back to Pokemon Spectrum. Last time we made it here to the Color Rock, which was actually a cave over here, but I guess now we're outside and we're on the lookout for Team Anonymous, which is a mysterious group that showed up here and stole a little girl's shiny Eevee. I am not making this up guys, this actually all happened last episode, so if you missed it, make sure to check it out. But today, we're gonna continue our trek here through Color Rock and hey, run into some more Lunalisks apparently. I actually really need to heal up my Pokemon as well, so I kind of had just had the thought of escape roping out of here and maybe making our way back to uh, the safe house that we were at. But wait, if I use an escape rope, it'll lead me back out of where we just came from. So never mind. Maybe we'll just use a repel and could keep exploring this cave. But yeah, hopefully we'll also be taking on Team Anonymous, which I believe the professor might even be a part of. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit that like button, show your support for the channel and your frustration for the series. That's actually the TM we just got, not why you should leave a like, but I mean, if you want to, I don't know, maybe you like to take out your aggression by watching some Munching Orange. I'm not here to judge, guys. I'm here to uh, just make the videos, I guess. But anyway, as we just saw there, I ran past one of the Team Anonymous grunts. I keep calling them Team Anonymous, but they're just called Anonymous so far. And I'm not really sure if they're even a team or what they are, but here's Dynatite, another new Pokemon we actually managed to catch. You probably noticed in the sidebar, um, it is actually a fire type too, so I was thinking about training that little guy up today. He's a pretty cool typing with rock and fire, and I don't really know what the next gym is going to be, but here's another Lunalisk. Why have we not yet run into the Soul Rock uh, mini form? Not mini form, but pre-evolution. That would be really cool. I want to see what the heck it looks like now that we've gotten teased with the Lunalisk, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I guess there was just that TM to get, so now let's finally move on. Before we do though, I should- Whoa, excuse me, I should probably heal my Pokemon. I think I've been watching a little bit too much Rick and Morty, and Rick has gotten in my system somehow, and now I keep burping, because I literally never burp before, but now I just keep on burping. I know this sounds gross, you might not want to hear it, but sometimes you just gotta say it and not spray it, or in this case, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to get into it because I was talking about burping. Anyway, um, let's take on this first anonymous grunt. I guess this time we got a female. I mean, I guess because of the skirt, I'm not really going to assume, but I think it is a female grunt. And the last one, of course, we thought was the male one, so... I don't know if they're just going to be green and yellow or maybe all different sorts of colors, but that's why I was comparing them to Team... Uh, what was it actually I was comparing them to? The Palette Rangers from Pokemon Prism. By the way, Akim cannot handle this, and I'm trying to think for a second which Pokemon would probably be the best here, but uh, considering Perry, what the? Th did this thing just use Pursuit? Uh, okay. I guess that could happen too. Well then, um, I wasn't expecting it, but I guess we're not training up HM for a while now. I really wish we would have... Oh wait, you're switching out too? Wow, this anonymous grunt is uh, seeming more like an admin than a grunt right now, to be honest, with all the switching out and predicting. I like it though, I didn't really think it would go for Pursuit, or maybe I did use a Pursuit before and I wasn't paying attention, but this is a Pokemon I definitely didn't pay attention to in the last episode, Golblat, um, because we actually, you can find it in the cave here, but when I saw it for the first time, for whatever reason, I didn't think of it being a bat hanging upside down, and I read a comment saying that, and it just clicked instantly in my head, like all, everything just made sense suddenly, and I'm like, wow, how the heck? Did I not notice that it's a bat hanging upside down? And of course, I've already killed it, so we can't really talk much about it anymore, but we'll probably end up running into another one eventually. You gotta be kidding me with this Apostle, man. And I think it might actually be quicker than us, too, so... I was gonna go for a quick attack, and I guess it decides to fake out, so... Maybe we should have gone wing attack? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It does a lot of damage, but... Yeah, that Globat, or Go... Goblat. Yeah, it's called Goblat. I don't know why it has such a weird name, but Goblat is actually hanging upside down for whatever reason. I couldn't see it that way. Maybe because of all the bat Pokemon in Pokemon in the original Pokemon games, I guess, like Zubat, Swoobat, uh, Gligar. Pretty sure there's another bat Pokemon, but they're always all the right side up. And I guess just seeing Globat upside down, uh, my head wanted to see him right side up. And I don't know. I couldn't really tell its shape for some reason, but I guess this would be a lot easier to talk about if Go Globlat, oh my gosh, I can't even say its name anymore. If Goblat was on screen right now, it'd be a lot easier to talk about, but we killed it pretty quickly there. Um, unfortunately, we have Perry up first with half HP, 
And also, uh, Rybeak with only 1 HP, I'm pretty sure right now. I guess I do have a hy Hyper Potion, but I don't want to waste it, I guess, because it's only 1 HP. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The Comet Punch. This is probably gonna take out Perry if it hits more than three times, I would say. Oh, wait. It only hit three times. Nice. The only problem is we're slower, and that actually didn't do very much. Oh, wait. We have Water Pulse now. Why didn't I go for that? Or try out a Hidden Power. Maybe it was super effective. I don't know, but... Uh, the Comet Punch is most likely... Ooh, it's gonna miss, actually. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Okay, well, another critical hit. The odds could not be more in our favor right now. I don't know what the heck that was, but the stars literally lined up, and Perry somehow was able to do it. And here's another repel. Did I just hear, like, a sand mound moving, by the way? I feel like I heard one, but maybe I was just imagining it in the music. This music is kind of creepy, by the way. I don't know if you guys can hear it faintly in the background. It sounds a little bit too creepy for a canyon area, in my opinion. I don't know. Let's get into the Color Rock base once again, and wait a second, I just realized something. This is called the base. Do they mean the base of the Color Rock like it's a mountain? Or a base like this is the evil base of this team? Hmm. I actually didn't think about it that way, but I'm pretty sure it's just the base of a mountain or something, because there this doesn't seem to be an evil team's base. This is just them chilling out here, maxing, relaxing. My friends told me to stop anyone who looks suspicious, and you look suspicious. Okay. Well, speak for yourself, buddy. You've literally got a question mark on your forehead. I don't know who, how you can look more suspicious than that, I mean, but... That's actually a really cool Pokemon. Gekrok kind of reminds me of Sandile, and it actually also looks like it could be a dark and ground type, which is definitely good considering we're a flying type here, so hopefully it uh, doesn't have anything too powerful on us. Oh wait, what? It could be a rock type actually. Whoa, hold up, plot twist. That's not good, because Perry is now super low HP, and I wasted the Hyper Potion on you, my friend. I guess we do have Orin Berries though, but... Those are not going to be enough to heal up uh, Perry there. I don't know. Maybe I should have just gone for a wing attack before uh, he uses any more screeches. Because, wait, no. That lowers our own defense. So, never mind. I guess we could do a lot more damage. Peck doesn't have enough power, though. I feel like the Peck... Wait a second. What? How did I forget you were Rock-type already? We don't have anything that great. We have Metal Claw. What the heck, dude? Metal Claw. I was looking at it and thinking about it. And for some reason, I didn't click it. But I knew I should have clicked it. And there it is. Metal Claw is the super effective one, but it's too late now because Riot Beak has gone down. No! Man, I, I really don't know what happened there for a second. I guess it was a brain fart, but I was looking at Metal Claw, and I thought of clicking it, but then I just didn't. So, I don't know. At least we can finish it off here with Thundershock and totally waste that Hyper Potion that we just used. I'm a little bit upset about that, to be honest. Um, but at least the next Pokemon coming out is Goblat. So, hey, we could actually talk about that again, but I actually want to know if any of you out there, maybe just by any chance, saw Goldblatt as if it was the right side up. Because when it's wing spread open, too, you can kind of see its little feet, and I thought those were like weird tentacle eyes. I really don't know why, guys. Now looking at it, obviously, I can see that it's a bat hanging upside down, but I'm really curious if maybe anybody out there saw it as if it, it was right side up, and maybe its ears looked like little... Uh, feet. I don't know. They actually don't look like feet at all to me now, so I don't know how I saw uh, Goldblatt before. I just really couldn't tell you. Anyway, there we go. We've defeated it. Anonymous Grunt down once again. And uh, yeah, let's keep it going. What the heck? I don't think we can actually keep it going because we have barely any HP left on either of our Pokemon. And here's a wild Goblat. Holy crap. I just, I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking to myself, how the heck did I see this as anything but a bat? I guess I just wasn't thinking about it like a bat. I could describe to you guys how I saw it, but it just wouldn't make any sense. So I'm not going to bother. Pretty dang scared because our Pokemon are so low HP. So I don't know if there's going to be anybody he to heal us up, but I feel like at this point, blacking out would be quicker than trying to get all the way back to the Pokemon Center. So... Uh, I guess we'll just keep on trekking through, and that's kind of my mentality most of the time, which I guess sucks uh, when I think about it now, because I do actually think about letting my Pokemon die sometimes, just because walking to the Pokemon Center would take such a long time, so maybe I'm not the nicest trainer out there. I always think of myself as being like a pretty nice trainer, but if I'm willing to let my Pokemon faint just to get to the Pokemon Center quicker, then maybe I'm not the nicest trainer out there, but you know what? Um... I don't know, actually. There's no excuse for that. We took out a Gango, though, so we've gotten pretty lucky so far. And next Pokemon is Larvas, though. I don't even know what type that is. It must be a Bug-type. And I'm pretty sure Dynatite will end up being way slower than it. 
and die in one hit, but you know what? We're gonna try it out here. Larvas, yeah, that's that's exactly what I thought it was. It's level 12 though, but I also wanted a chance to see what kind of moves Dynatite has, because we actually have never tried it out in battle. And as I said, it goes for Bite actually. What? Okay, maybe Larvas or Dynatite can actually pull this off after all. Rock Throw didn't do too much though, so I'm gonna try out the Incinerate this time. Oh, I thought it missed for a second. It kind of made it look like it missed, but nope, we're actually not gonna be able to take it out. Rock Throw and Incinerate both did the same, and uh, I'm afraid that's it for you, Dynatite. You did good though. You got it pretty dang low HP. Look at that. You did a good job, but now it's uh, Panzer just turned to say, hey, what a wonderful type of day. You get to get bug bited all day. And I actually thought that maybe Pan Surge might be quicker there. Is it really going to come down to this? I was literally just saying that we were going to black out and uh, it's already going to happen. So, no, I don't think it's going to happen. Come on. Yes, parry is faster at least. It's not going to happen yet. Thankfully, because I actually really didn't want to... Oh, wait, never mind. This guy's got another Pokemon. Um, at least this one is weak to water and it's definitely a rock type. So... It's gonna be way slower than our Platypus Pal, and that's it. The Lunalisk is down. We still haven't seen the Soul Rock pre-evolution, though. I'm actually pretty sad about that, because that is one of the few Pokemon I didn't really check out in the Pokedex, which, by the way, I finally linked in the description. And it sucks that we keep running into Lunalisk, because we don't have any Pokeballs anyway. Oh, gosh. Well, this is it, my friends. And there's another Goldblatt. I've decided to give Perry all those berries that we had, and, uh... Guess we're gonna take this guy on. Got any shiny Pokemon? I won't do anything to him, honest. Nope, still haven't run into any. And I have a feeling we're gonna end up running into one now and not have a Pokeball because I totally don't have any on me right now. But let's see if Perry can somehow make it through this trainer all on his own. Perry is level 21, so he's pretty dang powerful compared to the rest of the team. I'm just really not sure he can get through an entire trainer's team. Like, there's three Pokemon on this team. And, of course... Our water pulse has already been disabled. Okay. Our most powerful weapon is gone, guys. And the uh, gold blot is actually a dark type, so confusion there wouldn't have done anything. Better go for the return. Rotan to what that? Okay. This actually also looks like it could be a dark type, so I really don't want to go for confusion, but I also want to kind of see what... Oh, of course it's not very effective. The only problem is now I don't know what type this Pokemon is. I guess it's a poison type, actually, so maybe confusion here would be good instead. Aha, there it is. It is super effective and it has gone down in one hit. Well, took two hits, but you know, it went down in one hit from our previous hit, I guess. And there it goes. Somehow Perry did it. Can Perry actually manage to get us through the rest of this cave? Also, there was an invisible block there, so... Um, we actually do have a repel as well in our bag, so I guess I could go for it. I knew that there would be a hidden item there, by the way. I know I check every single rock, so eventually there's going to be one, but... That one looked pretty dang obvious. And here's another Dynatite. As if we haven't seen enough of these already. Of course, that is my own fault. Because I could totally have more repels on me. But um, at the same time, I think I actually didn't have too much money last time we went to the Pokemart. But now we've taken on a lot of trainers in a row. So next time we drop by the Pokemart, you know we're going to be rolling in there and buying the whole store. Or at least uh, most of it. Potions and Pokeballs and stuff, you know. Anyway, what is going on here? What the? That's actually the, the two starter Pokemon. Or our starter Pokemon, I should say. The shiny version of it. Is that what it's trying to say? I felt like it was saying that it can turn Pokemon shiny for some reason or somehow. But I don't think it can. And I also don't think this is the way we were supposed to go. So that kind of sucks because now we wasted our repel. Uh, well, this definitely doesn't look like the way we're supposed to go. And hopefully, oh, I guess this is another trainer. What is that odd stone down there? I wish I could reach it. Same man, it looks like a Mega Stone. I'm pretty sure it's a Mega Stone. I don't know for what Pokemon, maybe for the starters of this game, but I guess we probably can't reach it yet and probably not in this demo of this game because I don't think there would be any Pokemon um, capable of Mega Evolving at this point, as in any last stage evolutions or anything like that. Though, I don't know, maybe we could be proven wrong. And we can get the Mega Stone right now, but not before running into another Goldblatt, which I still keep seeing the right way now. And I can't believe that I ever saw you any other way. That is seriously going to bug me forever, but haha, -ha, the boss will love this. What? Did his trainer get through the rest of our team? Retreat! Oh, seriously? That's great. We don't actually have to battle any of them. And there's the shiny Eevee. Nice. 
Thanks for getting my Eevee back. As thanks, I'll share one of these rocks I found with you. Which one? Oh my goodness. Uh, what? He doesn't have a Thunderstone? Really? None of these are the ones I want, though. I guess I'll go for the Leafstone, then. I don't know why I went for Leafstone, but it just seemed like the right thing to do. Your friends with the Afro said he had some urgent business to attend to. He also said that we should avoid those guys. I wonder what they want. I wonder why the professor then had a question mark shirt under his lab coat because I thought that maybe he was part of the team, but maybe that'll be revealed at a later time. He probably actually is somehow involved with them or maybe he was part of them before, but oh my gosh, it's finally happened. I really thought it was going to happen in this episode, but maybe not so late in, but here it is. Our Drabby has finally hatched. I don't know if it's Drabby or Drabby, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the name. This is so cool. Did you guys see that? It was kind of like a like a Togepi, but a dragon Togepi, I guess. Because it still has a little bit of a part of the, oh my gosh. This is a dragon and fairy type. This is the new Luxie, holy moly. This is so awesome. And we even got it from Gym Leader Liz on April 17th. Holy crap, we've been playing this game for half a month and we're only on episode seven. Well. Anyway, it's got multi-scale too and only charm, so we're going to have to find some way to train up this little drabby here. Uh, but that's so awesome, dude. I was not expecting a dragon and fairy type, and especially not one looking like that because it does have the little egg still on it. Oh, uh, what the heck is up with these stairs? They're kind of weird to go up. Uh, before we head down there, though, I still want to see what's over here. Wow, it leads to the same place. Of course, this guy's looking for tough rock type Pokemon, but... I guess not from us. I thought maybe he might want to trade or something because we do have the rock type in our party, but oh no, you got to be kidding me. I came out of my home to enjoy that nice clean air. Care for a battle? Okay, sir. No problemo. Except that my parry's kind of beat up, oh, and I'm pretty sure you're going to take him down, oh, but not on my watch, oh, because Tauring. All right, I'm going to stop that. Uh, I don't think this Tauring here can take us down, so... We'll see about it, though. We'll see. This guy does have more than one Pokemon, too, so I'm really hoping that Perry does take him down because I think if we did keep going up north, it was going to lead us to maybe somewhere that we can heal up or maybe even a little resting area. I think it said Route 6, though, so maybe not, but I don't know. Now I'm thinking that maybe it was a place to heal up. I really hope it was because after getting through that whole cave, there's no way our Pokemon wouldn't be beat up. So maybe the creators kind of thought of that again because they did have a rest house earlier. Um, and it looks like that was actually this guy's only Pokemon. For some reason, I can never tell when they only have one Pokemon or if they have a whole bunch. But I can tell when there might be a Pokemon Center nearby. And I have a hunch that it might be over here. I really hope I'm right. Because if not, I'm going to be pretty sad. Oh, man. Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything so far. But there is a Clownin. Huh? Is this some kind of Mime Junior or something similar? I, it looks like a Mime Junior to me. Not like we have any Pokeballs though, so we're definitely going to have to come back. And I guess that means we should go all the way back to the town to be honest. But no! Come on, another Pokemon. The same thing actually. I guess this is probably not like a Mime Junior, but I'm saying it reminds me of that. Mime Junior is definitely out at this point. I, I'm saying that because I feel like I saw a, Mime, a Mr. Mime evolution among all the Pokemon that we could get. Oh wait! Yes, we finally made it! No way! Ah, oh, I'm so glad I didn't go all the way back to the last town because here we are at Sahara City. I'm just here to rest after doing some research at Color Rock. You should take a break once in a while too. That's right, sir. That's exactly what I'm aiming to do. So we will definitely head back to that route in the next episode probably and finish exploring it. But for now, we're getting uh, examined by a, a clown. New visitor, come to the Pokemon Gym at the Sahara Circus. You won't regret it. Ha ha ha. Okay, see you there. If I can talk my way there, that is, because it feels like I can't talk right now for some reason. What is this? Oh my... Is that an alien? That is definitely not a human. Is it a Pokemon? Oh, there's another one. Um, well then, this is definitely an interesting city so far, but I'm really just looking for the Pokemon Center, so if you could maybe point me in the way, Mr. Anonymous Grunt. I happen to like dressing this way. Okay, I guess we'll just talk to the people here then. Or, I guess, the not people. These Pokemon are supposed to live up in the north. I wonder what they're doing here. Oh, so they are Pokemon after all. I don't think they're called Burara, because the Pokemon cries usually aren't uh, their names here in the games. In the anime, though, for some reason they are, but where the heck is this Pokemon Center? 
I actually can't find it and I've been looking around for a while and I'm starting to think that maybe there isn't even one. All these bug type Pokemon, it's like a dream come true <laughs> for that bug catcher. Yeah, I bet it must be my friend. This place is too big. I can't take it. Okay, I just realized that we should just take a breather then because it's not like we're going to find any trainers here in the city. So, yo, I want to see a Pokemon called Pansurge. Do you have one? Whoa, you do have one. That's cool. Thanks for showing it to me. Take this. Yes. Oh my goodness. That is so awesome. I got to go catch a Pansurge now. Go do it, dude. I encourage you so much because thank you so much for the Thunderstone. With this, of course, we can evolve our own Pansurge. It is time, boys. I've been waiting for this for a while, I guess, since the very first episode, I think. Maybe the second episode, but I don't know. Here is the evolution, a semi-surge. Looking like a Super Saiyan. Kind of like a Super Saiyan. I guess I said that about the original evolution as well, uh, because it's just a golden monkey, and I guess that's pretty much what Super Saiyans are. So let's check him out and his stats now that he's uh, evolved. I guess speed is the best there. Oh, we have actually a nature that lowers attack, which might be okay. Um, he does have Thundershock right now. That's a special move, so... I don't know. I feel like he'd probably learn good stuff like Thunder Punch and other physical electric moves. Uh, Volt Tackle. What else is there, actually? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, let's keep looking around in this town. Randomly found a Thunderstone, which is definitely something I've been looking for for a while. So, ooh, what the... Now we found a sewer? You gotta be kidding me, man. I feel like it wasn't that long ago that we were playing a Pokemon game that also had some sewers in it. Um, but maybe that's a couple of Pokemon games, actually. Not Sun and Moon, though. I think Black and White has some sewers in it. Which might be actually why this game has sewers in them. This game definitely does have the Pokemon Black and White style graphics. So, yeah, I can totally see that now. But I feel like we played a fan game recently as well that had the sewers. Anyway, um, let's keep on looking for this Pokemon Center, I guess. I really don't know why it's so hard to find, but... I wish Sahara had the same kind of fashion options as Lumios. I want to buy a Fedora. Really? You want to tip it to the miladies? Because I feel like that's kind of what you were going for there, buddy. But, whoa. The Pokemon fan club. And this guy's just chilling on a bench. Are you serious? These Pokemon are so chill, dude. They're literally just chilling in the city. I love it. If only they weren't so buggy. But Pokemon is that kid's life. And that's pretty much me as well, so um, I guess we're hanging in the right place. I also just realized there's a new Pokemon right next to the chairman there that we've never seen. Um, but this lady is talking about something else that I didn't read about. Well, uh, fairy type Pokemon. Yeah, I guess they're all right. This is a doll though. I'm not sure you really have a fairy Pokemon. Oh, they have two Clefairy dolls and another new Pokemon actually. Diva. I think that might be the pre-evolution of those things outside. It kind of looks like it. I'm the president of the Pokemon fan club. Do you love Pokemon? Then you should take this. My love between Pokemon grows stronger. Yes. A Soothe Bell. I love it. Thank you so much, sir. Dunaya Nenyadon. Um, assuming that's Japanese, but I'm sorry. Je ne comprends pas. That's, that's French, I think. It might not have sounded like French because I have a very bad accent probably, but, uh, you know, I think it means I don't understand in French. But the point is, I don't know how to say that in Japanese, so I can't really say much to that guy. I can create music that would make a Cloudin cry. Is Cloudin like a super sad Pokemon or something? I'm pretty sure that was the little clown that we saw outside, but uh, I'm not really sure too much about it because we weren't able to catch one. Because I can't find a Pokemon Center and buy Pokeball! Seriously, where is it at? I guess this guy probably sells... Oh, no, oh, he doesn't even sell anything. None of the people here do anything. This cafe is useless, and I'm going to write that on my Yelp review of it. But uh, there isn't really a Poke Yelp app yet. But if there was, I would totally write that. But it is definitely useless. Don't even go in there. No NPCs will give you items. Um, I just realized that could actually be a thing. Like a place that tells you which buildings in Pokemon are basically useless. Because that would be pretty helpful. I'd just skip them over, man. There's no reason for me to barge into these people's homes and restaurants if they're not going to give me items. That's all I'm looking for right now. How are you today, Mr. Bugman? <laughs> I love this kid. That's good. That's good. <laughs> this is literally a Pokemon, though. How the heck do we get it? Because I totally want to catch one. Does that mean, by the way, that we can just throw Pokeballs at all these Pokemon? This Bubbleo is blocking my bike shop. Oh, so they're called Bubbleo. Bubbleo, I don't think... Well... We actually don't know the name of that Pokemon we saw in the fan club. It just said Diva. But I, we actually don't know what its name could be. Because Pokemon don't say their names in this game. Or in any game. Only in the anime. 
which I'm actually kind of curious why that is. Why is it that only in the anime Pokemon say their own names? I've always wondered that. Leave down below your theories on why maybe that could be. Why didn't they just make them do random noises? Or rather, why in the games they make random noises? Because I totally understand that in the anime, if you want people to remember the names of Pokemon, uh, having them say their own name would totally help with that and pronunciation and all that. So definitely uh, interesting that they don't do that in the games, I guess, because you, you're expected to know what they are in the games or the people in the games know. So I don't know. I just want to know why the heck whenever I talk to a legendary, the text just says blah, 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 you know? Where are the answers to the real questions of the Pokemon world? That and many more may be answered in the next episode of Pokemon Spectrum because I think I'm about to give up on looking for the Pokemon Center. Oh my gosh! Just when I thought all hope was lost, there it is. In the darkness, the shining light of the Pokemon Center filters through and we made it. We're safe, guys. I don't know why I'm being so poetic right now. I literally never thought we were going to make it, but we did. And now we finally get a chance to rest up and even stock up on items. Um, so I guess I'm going to do that real quick. Well, I've spent all my money once again, and I'm pretty sure I bought way too many Pokeballs, but I kind of want to go catch all the Pokemon that we ran into in those past few routes. But that is definitely going to be something for the next episode, as I believe we've done quite enough today. So until the next episode, I'll be chilling here in Sahara City with my fellow Bugmen, and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>